Hey y'all, it's Tig Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to my Thursday Night Live Stampin' with Sharon. It is Thursday, March the 9th. Oh my gosh. It, it was just March the 1st the other day. <laughs> March the 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're watching the replay, I sure hope that this video inspires you and that maybe I help you uh, learn how to use the Taco Fiesta stamp set to make some adorable, easy cards. Aren't we all about the easy these days? I wanna say hello to those who are joining me live. Um, I have been trying to catch up with all of the chatting that is going on. Um, and I, you know, you guys, I just love y'all. I, I just love my little stamping community. You know, it, it's, it's people from all over the world. I've got my friend Inika here from the Netherlands. And I've got my friend Kay Zarenko, who just flew past my house on I on 130 Highway. Um, you know, so it's just so fun to know that stampers from all over the world have one thing in common. They love to stamp. And so that's why they're here tonight. So I invite you to join us on the lives. Um, if you want to chat during the live with some of the uh, stampers, um, you need to be logged into your YouTube channel. I know some of y'all watch me on the TV. So you're just sitting back in the recliner, just resting. Um, so you probably don't have your hands on a keyboard. But if you want to chat, you do need to log in. And by logging into YouTube, you're using your Google, your Gmail account not your Google account. What the heck? Anyway, we are going to, uh, Phyllis says she is ready to be inspired. So I hope that I can inspire you tonight to use this stamp set. This stamp set, Taco Fiesta, um, is a cute little stamp set. It doesn't have any dies with it. Hmm. Womp womp. They're kind of small stamps. And I'm going to be honest with you. It took me a while. I bought the stamp set because, hello, I live in Texas. What do we eat? Tacos. Mm -hmm. We eat a lot of Mexican food here. There's a Mexican food truck either on every corner or a restaurant on every corner in this area. So, you know, we have Mexican food. And so I had to have my uh, stamp set. I'm going to switch my uh, camera. Um, and so I had to get the stamp set, but it sat on my shelf until I got this card in the mail. Hmm. I got this adorable card. Look how simple, look how simple that is from my, um, account manager with Stampin' Up. I earned with a very lot of hard work, the, uh, Mexican cruise and so he sent me this adorable, perfect card for that. Hmm, there you go. So I thought, well, that is super easy. And it's time for me to get the stamp set out and play with it. So um, let's see. Delina says, YouTube always puts <clears throat> an ad just as you start. Maybe just chat generally for a minute or three before starting the show. Thank you for letting me know that, Delina. Let's see. It is about five after um, seven. So I appreciate that because, you know, um, I never know. There's always going to be an ad. YouTube is a free platform for us to use. It is a fabulous platform for me to use. Um, but we never know where the ads are going to be. So let me thank you for letting me know that. Thank you, Mary Yates. Um, but yeah, this is a super cute, super easy you know, it's just a little pinata. How cute is that? Okay. Um, if you don't know what a pinata is, um, my fellow stampers, you put candy in there, you tie it on a string, the kids beat it with a stick or a baseball bat and bust open the candy. They're usually blindfolded so they can't see it when it's swinging in the air. So um, let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm just catching up. Um, for those of you who are chatting during the live, if you um, have any questions um, that I might miss as I'm stamping, um, you could talk to our sweet friend, Michelle Batson, who is joining us in the live. She is my helper. Uh, she is our moderator for the evening. 
You can type the at sign and start typing Michelle's name and it should pop up. And then she will see your message in case she doesn't see it in the chat if the chat is scrolling too fast. Sometimes y'all are pretty quick. And so uh, I know that it's hard sometimes to keep up, but she does a fabulous job. Just love her. Just love Michelle. Okay, so let's talk about Taco Fiesta. Thank you guys for the congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, although today we all were plotting and planning the Norway trip that I'm going on in May. That was another trip that I earned. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but I do enjoy the benefits of the fruits of my labor, shall we say. Um, and so we've been looking at all the things, all the excursions for uh, Norway. So how adorable are these little faces right here? Little tiny faces to put on our taco, to put on our uh, chili pepper, to put on our avocado. Um, and I just, I just love you too, Michelle. <clears throat> um, there's our guacamole. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Okay, so I just sent um, a birthday card uh, to one of my granddaughters. Um, and I made it the pinata. I made my own card. Um and did, uh, did a pinata for her. So super easy, super fun stamp set. But like I said, there's no dies. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you gave me a die for some of these tiny little things, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use it. It's too tiny. Okay. So I'm sure that's the reason why, but I'm telling you, um, there is a super easy, cute way to make some cards. Okay. So I'm going to show you this way first, and then we're going to step it, up, step it up a notch or two, maybe two. Um, and I'm going to show you a way to make almost the same card, but different, um, but yet give it some more, um, what I like to say, personality. Okay. So I have all my pieces ready, um, except it looks like I forgot to cut my basic watt, but we can do that. Um, I, I wanted to do as much stuff ahead of time um, as I could. Now, at 8 p.m. tonight, let's move this all out of the way. We don't want to get ink on that. At 8 p.m. tonight, you're going to see the measurements. You'll be able to see my blog below the video, um, and you'll be able to download the measurements to my two cards. It's not there yet. Don't go anywhere. And I'm trying to think who it was um, who messaged me today. Paula, was it you? Anyway, wanted to stamp along with me. And I was like, well, that is a brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of that? So I blew up my measurements for this card. And then I did the same thing for the other card. Okay. So um, thank you, guys. You're still giving me congrats on my trips. Thank you. Um, it's all because I love to share and I have a wonderful team and I have wonderful customers who support my Stampin' Up! business and place orders with me. So there you go. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer because I forgot to cut the three inch by four and a half inch piece of paper. So I'm just going to do that really quick. You don't need to see me cut. Well, maybe you do. Here we go. I'll just cut this three and a half. No, three inch by four and a half. I was like, what size was that? Okay, so now I'm ready to do the card. Okay. Um, you might have noticed, let's just put this. Mm, yeah, we need our, doo -doo -doo, where is it? You might have noticed that, um, hello, Susan Clements from Pottsboro, Texas. You may have noticed that my party candy pieces are multicolored. Can y'all see that? Oh, that looks a little blurry. Let me back it off. Y'all see that? Uh, Paula Ross said, I just saw your notification photo and pulled out what I have to use tonight. Perfect. There you go. Um, Trisha is late due to a, um, a major internet issue. So I'm glad you were able to hop on. So what I used was the baby wipe technique and some ink refills. 
So we're going to get our baby wipes out. Thank goodness that I have so many grandkids. I got, I've got a case of these. <laughs> and diapers. Lots of diapers. Okay. When we're doing the baby wipe technique, now this has been this has been done on my um, in my technique class. Uh, for those of you who may not know about that, um, I did this technique with some other techniques back. I think it was technique number three. Um, anyway, I did put the link below uh, the video for that technique class. You know, I love to do techniques and I think that, um, <laughs> I think that having, um, my, you know, my book, the, those of you who know about my reference book, if you, if you need to see my reference book, just let me know. And I'm more than happy to pull it over here under the camera, having my reference book, you know, it's like, what can I do in the background? Oh, how cute would it be to do some, um, to do the baby wipe technique and give this card lots of color, you know, um, all about the bright colors with um, any of the um, Spanish decor, the Mexican decor kind of things. And so the baby wipe technique, oh, look at Michelle. It, Michelle has put the link, she is on it, I'm telling you. Michelle has put the link in um, the chat for that technique class that I did. Um, you know, we're up to like 75 techniques. Is that not crazy? And I know, I know you guys, I saw you chatting um, about, I talked about the crayons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to be doing a technique with white crayons. And so you guys all hit up Amazon and bought your white crayons. <laughs> that, that video or that live will be in a couple of weeks. So hang on to those, hang on to those crayons. Okay, so I have my basic white and I have my party pieces, my candy, whatever this little uh, stamp set is. Um, hello, Sherry Wilker. Glad you're here. You know, I think I want a little bit more. I, I, I was a little skimpy right here in the middle. We want to fill that up. So, oh, what colors did I use? I used um, Daffodil Delight, Sweet Sorbet. Orchid Oasis and Granny Apple Green. Those were my colors of ink refills. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to ink up and we're going to stamp. And what's so great about this is that I can, I can just go anywhere and just stamp. I don't have to worry about it being so perfect. I'm not going to hurt my baby wipe ink technique at all. Okay. Um, you know, not like I'm re-stamping on an ink pad. So certainly can't hurt it. Um, Rosemary says she bought her, hers, uh, <laughs> her uh, white crayons. Uh, and David wondered why said, uh, Going back to my second childhood, <laughs> we all love crayons. Gosh. Okay. So I don't know if it's because I bought the white crayons, but this lady's video came up and she was using what she was using colored crayons. She was coloring and she was using baby oil to soften the wax. I was like, I'm going to have to come back to the you and watch that. I got to see what that is. All right, so we have got our colorful little background. Look how fun, but we're not done because I decided, where'd my card base go? I decided that just having um, a plain white base around was too boring. So I opted to do it all around the edge of my card. You gotta have lots of partying going on. Um, who was it? Debbie asked me if I was having a party this weekend. Uh, I'm not having a party per se. Mark is, um, he is cooking a brisket and three racks of ribs. We have friends coming in from the Dallas area and our daughter and her family's coming over. So 
It could turn into a party, Debbie. Just saying. Just saying. I know, Kate, Baby Wipes works well for, uh, like, watercolor pencils and for um, um, the pastels, the chalks. But I'd never heard of it for waxy crayons. Going to have to try it. All right. So we've done all of that. Am I done? I'm not done. I'm not done. I tell you what I'm going to do. For my second card, I'm going to go ahead and do this piece since I have my stamp pad here, you see. Um, whoops. We'll just go ahead and finish this up. Debbie says that I'm having her kind of food. It's a Texas thing. We're just having all those. So his baby back ribs, he puts apricot preserves on top. Mm -hmm. It's like candy. We're having candy ribs. <laughs> They're so good. So good. When our kids were growing up, we would always ask them, what do you want for your birthday dinner? Daddy's ribs. I'm like, okay, we're just going to quit asking because I know what y'all want. <laughs> Cleon says the kids at school here were collecting old crayons for a project. So since our grandkids are too old for coloring, I donated a huge box to them. Now I'm colorless. Uh-oh, Cleon. Well, if we figure out how to use crayons with uh, baby oil, you might have to buy a pack. Just saying. Okay, so we're going to set all of that aside. I think we're done with that for now. And we're just going to tuck this one back over here. And let's get our pieces here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to, I'm going to instruct you to do is, uh, nope, that's for that card. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized I wasn't supposed to stamp on this one. Not yet. That's why they make two sides to every piece of cardstock. So if you make a mistake like I just did, mm -hmm. let me show you why. I need to stamp my little guys, all my fun stuff first, then do the fun stuff around it. Okay. All right. Let's do this again. No problem. We're going to use our Memento ink because I am using um, my Stampin' Blends to color. Uh, if you were using your uh, water-based markers, you would want to use um, stays on. Okay. All right. So our little taco guy gets an adorable mustache. Look how cute that is. Boy, why does, I guess I go up too fast to the camera. It's like, whoa, Bessie, slow down. Look how cute that is. Okay. Um, and then we're going to, who just found, Beverly Smith just found her taco fiesta in her messy craft room. I see the candy wrappers. Mm-hmm. Yep. There we go. Now you're, now you're um, able to make this card. Okay. So now we're stamping our chili and our chili pepper and our little face. And we're going to do our avocado. And we'll put him here. And he's got a cute face. Margaret said, I was just saying to turn it over. Uh-oh, I didn't get quite all of my. You know, do y'all ever do that? Just didn't quite get it all. No problem. We're just going to take our black marker. And we're going to just lightly touch it. There we go. No problem. Okay. Uh, now we want our bowl of guacamole. Let's see. Uh-oh. Rosemary just lost her internet. Um, okay. Now I'm going to take this little hat, our little sombrero. And I didn't know if this would work, but I think it's just fine because you can see the avocado through it right now. But when I color it, it's fun. Okay, so we gotta have some chips with our guacamole. Okay. All right. Now, 
Everybody got their faces? Yes. <clears throat> okay. We are going to take and pull out our ink pad again. And we're going to stamp as close as we can with all of our little pieces. The ribs are yummy, Gwen, I promise. It's kind of mean for me to tell y'all about them, huh? Because you can't have any. <laughs> but yeah, he, he spends hours doing it. And I know some of my kids have tried or the, the son-in-laws have tried to make his ribs. And the grandkids say, it's not like poppies. It's just not like poppies. Okay. Now I want, I want some fun stuff happening in here. So, let's see, let me come up here a little bit closer. There we go. We're going we're gonna to do that. I don't know. I think the baby wipe technique is the best part of this whole card. <laughs> okay, let's do that. And then, y'all all have post-it notes in your studios, right? We're going to take this right here and there we go. Okay. Let's have a fiesta. Why did you not just mask them? Cause that would have been too much trouble Renee. <laughs> I did mask. See, see, I heard you. I heard you saying that. Now, um, you could mask them, but, you know, or you could add one right there. Um, it's just fine. It, I think it still, it works just great. Now, for coloring, move all of our stamps over. We're going to do some coloring. Now, just so you know, when I make my second card, you won't see me doing all the coloring again. So bear with me. Some of, some of y'all said, okay, now I have to tell y'all, out of all the colors that I have of um, Stampin' Blends, apparently I love the yellow the most. Can y'all see how dry it is on the tip? <laughs> and what's so funny is I have two sets like this. And what's so funny is it still works, but my tip doesn't. Does that make sense? So I have learned to hang on to those and color what I can. Can y'all see that I didn't color all the way to the edge? Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to take the darker of my Daffodil Delight. By the way, I have two more sets coming to me because apparently I am very hard on these Daffodil Delight ones. Sandy, I'm so glad you like my card. I think it's adorable too. And it's super easy to do, right? We're just stamping, which we all love to do. And we're coloring, which we all love to do. Well, maybe some of y'all don't. I don't know. I think coloring is really relaxing. And so we're just coloring and we're stamping. Okay, now we're going to do our um, uh, avocado. <clears throat> All right, so we're not going to color under the sombrero. And we're not going to color his seed. Okay, we're just coloring around. I have to tell myself that out loud or I would have colored the seed. <laughs> okay. And we're going to get the dark version and we're going to do the skin. You know, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of stamps that we even have right now that you can use coloring tools with, or at least that I have. And I have quite a few of them. Um, most of them all require 
um, for you to uh, ink up the stamp and just stamp it with an ink pad. You know, when you look through, we don't have a whole lot. So this is one of them. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Inika did not get the stamp set. That's okay. Um, you know, for those of you who did get it or Sue, who is on the fence about getting it, I hope that I inspire you and I hope that I give you some ideas to use uh, with this stamp set. Okay, now I'm gonna take the darker of the Orchid Oasis and I'm gonna do my sombrero. And it's just a little tiny doot, 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 doot. And then you're gonna start seeing, what did I do the top? I did do the top. Um, you'll, you'll quit seeing my uh, avocado through the hat, through the sombrero. Okay, now we're going to switch to um, wish they brought back the Stampin' Rat. What do you mean, Rosemary? The Stampin' Rat. The Stampin' Rat markers? We have those. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, so now I'm doing the darker. Okay. And now we want our pepper. Whenever you're using the Stampin' Blend, you want to be able to turn your paper around and be able to get it, get those, get that, um, the tip of the blends to line up with the edge. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? Oh, Delina just ordered this stamp set. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it. I don't know, that looks pretty dark. I think I'm gonna stop doing. And then, I I love it. I mean, like I said, it had been sitting on my, on my um, in my stash over in my rack behind me. And I was like, oh, now we're gonna do the guacamole. This is the dark. Um, I'm gonna switch to the light and I'm gonna do the guacamole because holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, 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 I need this. Oh, well, I hadn't used the stamp set. It was just sitting on my, until I got that card from Chad. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. Gwen says that my picture freezes for a while. Um, you know, if there's any bad weather between me and you, that could be the problem. I'm not having bad weather here. Um, it will be starting later tonight. I was like, of course it is. It's Thursday night. <laughs> um. So now I'm just using my Stampin' Blends to give this bowl. I should have brought some of my um, Mexican dishware out because my they're bright colors, bright colors. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, this works. This works. We're just going to use and draw lines. Uh, let's see. Got to do the little feet. There we go. Okay, um, we got to finish up our taco here. We're going to use Granny Apple Green for our lettuce. Now, I know that I'm talking while I'm doing this and telling y'all more things, but this really does not take long to color. And I, I have fallen in love with this little Taco Fiesta stamp set. Just saying. We're going to do our tomatoes. Look how cute that is. And now we need to do our chips. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just to be able to buy the Stampin' Right markers separately instead of a whole pack. Yes, ma'am. I totally agree with you because sometimes you use up that Daffodil Delight and you got to buy the whole pack. I know. I hear what you're saying now. 
Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness to the edge of my chips. I'm not going to do the whole thing. And then I'm going to take the lighter and I'm just going to pull that in and blend it. Super fun. Okay. I think we're done coloring. We're going to get our pieces back out. Okay. All right. We are going to get some adhesive. Whoa. Look at the party happening in the back. <laughs> Where I stamped first before I did my little pieces. There is a whole party happening back there. Um, okay. We are adding this layer to the Orchid Oasis. And then we're going to add the Orchid Oasis to my Daffodil Delight. And like I said, I pre-cut all of those. I showed you the measurements when we first started. I do have, um, I will have the download available after the live is over. Over, <laughs> mucho gusto. <laughs> um, y'all are planning a trip where and you haven't been invited. Where y'all going? Y'all coming here or are you going to see somebody else? All right, then we're just going to add this to this layer. And holy guacamole, I forgot to get my paper ready for, that's okay, we got scraps everywhere, for my greeting layer. And what I thought was super fun, even though we've been making our card, our ink pad is still wet, okay? that we use for the baby wipes. And so I thought, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's just take and ink up our greeting. And if we don't like it, like where the, the yellow is too, um, too light, I'm just gonna come back over here in the darker area and I'm gonna do it again. Maybe this is why I didn't ink it up. Well, I think my ink pad did dry out on me. Hang on, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna add some more ink. Oh, y'all are coming to my house. How fun. Oh, for the brisket and the ribs. Okay, okay, I hear you. <laughs> I'll make sure I tell Mark to... You better go buy some more. <laughs> That's too funny. I was like, where y'all going? Oh, you're coming to my house. Okay. All right. I think we've got enough on here that we should get a better image this time. Okay, let's try it again. And you know, we've got that other side of that piece of paper, so we don't have to worry about that. All right. Let's see how this does. Whoa. Now we have a mess. Okay. Hang on. Fourth time's the charm, right? What should we bring? Y'all need to bring some potato salad. Nobody in my family wanted potato salad this weekend. Only me. And I'm like, really? So I need potato salad. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make it just for myself. But if y'all are coming. All right. I'm just going to trim this down to size. And yeah, that's about one and three quarters. And then we're going to trim this down. Mm, yeah. I don't know who is inviting themselves to brisket, but we are talking about another time. Oh, oh, I thought y'all were talking about food. Isn't that why y'all usually come? People usually want to come when there's food. Okay, let's get, so are y'all coming to stamp? What are we, what are y'all coming for? Just so I'm prepared. You know, I, I had somebody message me today. She found me. She's in the next town over. Um, and she messaged me today and asked me if I was having in-person classes. Um, and I am considering beginning those, having one, you know, I don't know. Once a quarter, maybe, I don't know. Um, you know, when you work online, it takes a lot of your time. 
So, um, you know, you got to do the blog thing. You got to send the emails. I just want to teach y'all how to make a card. So anyway, uh, I was talking to her today and I was like, hmm, maybe I should start doing that. So I got her contact information. She might be on here tonight. I didn't even think to look for her. Um, yeah. All right. Let me grab some dimensionals. Okay, so let's get some dimensionals. And then you decide where do you want it so you don't cover everybody up. Hmm. How did I do that one? I don't want to cover up their little faces. They're so cute. Okay. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Okay, this one turned out better. Why? I don't know. I think because I can see more of my edge. I don't know. Anyway, there's my card. Okay, super cute. Um, let's see. Oh, Debbie says she does she does in person workshops. That is very true, Rosemary. the 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 value of the video is that everybody's in my house. Well, I'm in y'all's house, rather. Um, so I can, I can find more stamping friends when I'm online. You're right. Okay. Let's make our other card. And I want to explain to you the difference between the two cards. So here's the card. Okay. Um, I did cover up the sombrero. You're right. I didn't know where to put the label. I didn't know where to put it. You're right. I did cover up the sombrero. Maybe I'll put it on the inside. Okay, so now we have this version, okay? So I kind of want to show you, let's bring in the card. There's my taco, there's my pepper, there's my avocados, there's my guacamole, there's my chips. Do you see that they're all in about the same places? Hmm. However, these are a little bit different. What you're going to do is you're going to stamp all your pieces and you're going to color them. And then you're going to take those little snips and you're going to cut them out. Now, I know I hear y'all. I don't like to fussy cut. I don't like to fussy cut either. But there's something about this stamp set because it's so easy to fussy cut that you're going to want to do it. I'm, 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 I don't like to fussy cut either, but I'm telling y'all this. It's so easy to do. Okay. I'm not going to spend the time fussy cutting this. Y'all know how to do it. But if you cut these, you know, stamp them all, color them all, fussy cut. And you know what I did today when I was fussy cutting, getting ready, because I have everything ready right here. All right. We're all ready to go. Um, I just turned on a YouTube video fussy cut my fussy cut my pieces out for y'all so there you go all right so let's talk about this one this card here's the measurements we have our granny apple green which is four and a quarter by 11 and i've scored it at five and a half okay it's just our piece then I said a large scrap of Daffodil Delight and then a large scrap of Orchid Oasis and a large and a scrap of Basic White, which we've already stamped on from the first one, okay, since we had our ink pad out. I failed to add my Basic White that goes on the inside. Eh, you'll figure that out when you go to put the card together. You're like, wait, I can't write on that green. I need my Basic White. So, sorry about that. But... These are included in the download that you'll get on my blog at 8 p.m. tonight, which what time is it? Oh, we got 20 minutes. We are doing good. Okay, so let's put our card together now. All right, we've got our adhesive that has just left the building. There we go. All right, um, I'm going to take and I'm going to add, I, I took, let's see what I did. I used my large Daffodil Delight cardstock 
and I cut out using the second, you'll see that, the second from the edge of the stitched rectangle dies, okay? Then I took my Orchid Oasis and I went the next size down, so one, two, three, okay? Then I took my basic white and took the next size down, one, two, three, four, and I cut that out, okay? So we just gradually went down to give us lots of layers. I see that Michelle is putting links in the chat for you guys. Um, you know, I, I have lots of things that I share in my newsletter, and I just saw that pop up that she shared the link in my newsletter of my newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter, I invite you to, to go below the video if you're watching the replay or if you're in the chat. Um, you could uh, chat, uh, click on it there. But when you are on my newsletter, then you get um, the tip of the week. I do a Tuesday tip of the week. You will get that every Tuesday delivered to your inbox. You will also get uh, notifications of mystery stamping, that first clue. Um, but you also get free tutorials that I send out every week that you can be inspired with. Even if you don't have the stamp set, you're like, hmm, that's a cute layout. That's a fun fold, whatever. Um, and so I encourage y'all to um, join my newsletter. Okay, so here we go. Now, how familiar does this look to this card? Okay, we got a granny apple green. We have our daffodil delight. We have our orchid oasis. You see what I did? Okay. And so... Um, then I took and I fussy cut out all my little pieces. Um, and so now to put this card together is super simple. Okay, we're just going to add our taco up here. We have our chili pepper. Um, okay, so Beverly Smith is saying, I had a demonstrator teach me to fussy cut. She said, what you do is move the paper around the image as you cut and try not to cut out the image. I hope that makes sense. Yes, it does. Hold on. Let me tell you what she's, let me show you what she's telling you. Here we go. So let's use the um, chili pepper. So y'all see how I'm moving the paper. Okay. See how the paper is swinging? That's what she's trying to tell you. Okay. I'm not just doing this. Because if you do that and you don't let that paper swing, it's too hard. Okay. So thank you for reminding us of that. Thank you guys. You guys are loving my card. I'm so glad. Um, these are super easy cards. And like I said, you know, okay, so for 12-year-old um, granddaughters, um, younger kids, they think this is adorable. But guess what? So do my older kids. Mm -hmm. Cute cards. Cute card, Mom. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so now we're going to put our chips. Now, I did not cut the chips apart. Life's too short. We don't need to be doing that. That's crazy. Oh, let's see. Sandy loves the bright colors. I do too. Look at that. Look how fun that is. Cute little guacamole bowl. Yeah, avocados are so expensive. My, my husband went to the store today and he goes, okay, here's your two avocados because we got to have guacamole this weekend. He goes, that was $4 for two avocados. I was like, oh, what? Okay, okay. We got to make sure that those don't go to waste. <laughs> That's just crazy. All right. I just realized that I did add um, dimensionals to both of these. I didn't mean to, um, but it is what it is. So, ah, Sandy, this would be the perfect birthday card for your, for him. I mean, that's Cinco de Mayo. Holy guacamole. It's your birthday. Sandy, you need this stamp set, girl. I'm just telling you. <laughs> and I'm giving you um, the measurements. Uh, to download and make it so you'll be all set. All right. So I did go ahead and add that on. And then we have a little tiny dimensional on the back of our sombrero. I'm going to pop this up. Ah, 
Uh, let's see. Mary Lou says that her daughter-in-law in New York City is throwing a Derby de Mayo party and wants some Taco Fiesta cards as party favors. <gasps> there you go. Renee says she got a bag of um, avocados for $4. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think we're too close to Mexico. They went up on the price. Okay, let me put this around here. We're just going to put his little hat on. His little, there we go. Cute little sombrero. Whoops, I got the dimensional wrong. You know what? I don't think I want that dimensional. Yeah, I do. Let's see. I don't know why it went backwards. There we go. He's coming along. Look at that. Michelle has just put the link for the um, Taco Fiesta stamp set in the mini. Um, you can also find it on my website. If you um, currently don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. I send you free catalogs. I send free tutorials. You can shop below the video if you're watching the replay um, on my Stampin' Up! website. And um, I'd be happy to assist you. All right. We are going to. Okay. So what did I do for this and this? Okay. Let me just show you. There's some hidden gems in the catalog. Taylor made tags dies. Look at all the tags. And they have these little things to give us our reinforcements. How cute is that? How cute is that? Okay. I, I cut those out using the uh, sweet sorbet. And I need, I need, what do I need? I had a piece of scrap paper, but Lord only knows where it went. I can lose more things during a YouTube live than anything. Um, thank you, Joe. I'm so glad you like my card. All right. I'm going to use my embossing buddy, um, that you can also get on my website and I'm going to use some white emboss powder and my Versamark ink. And I need to clean my holy guacamole birthday stamp. There it is. So let me just show you how I'm going to clean it. Flip that baby wipe over and use that baby wipe to clean that off. I mean, why not? It's here, right? All clean. Okay. So we put our, um, we put our embossing buddy on there to get the, uh, and the, get the static out. And now we're going to stamp with our Versamark ink pad. Okay. And then I'm going to hang on to this. These little reverse tweezers come in very handy. Hi, BJ Thompson. I'm glad you like my card. Thank you. Okay. I like to tap my embossing powder um, to kind of shift it to make sure it gets all around my stamped image. I don't know if that helps or not, but huh, I don't like how that looks. Hold on. It's like I didn't get enough powder. There we go. A little bit better. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Okay, close this up. And now I'm going to heat set it. Um, Y'all are talking about bacon and avocado. Y'all are talking about food again. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you like my colors. Thank you. Very festive. Ah, Joe Phillips' daughter was married on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. You know, and you can easily use the images and a different stamp greeting 
to go with it. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and then we're going to add this on, this little reinforcement. I'm gonna get my glue. We're gonna put a little bit of glue right here. And yeah, just gonna kind of dab that glue a little bit and add that right there. Okay. Um, Brenda says she uses those little circles with sticky backs paper and do a bunch when ready to use them. They're all ready for me. Perfect idea, Brenda. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. We are almost done with this card. How's that? We're going to get our black and white ribbon and we're going to add a little tag. Um, if you're new to my channel and you just stumbled across me, I am showing how to use this adorable stamp set called uh, Fiesta, Taco Fiesta. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel below the video. Um, and then you might want to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live on YouTube or if I happen to upload a video, which sometimes I do. All right, so I'm just putting this through. Oh, let me show you what I did. So I've just folded the ribbon in half. And then I'm folding it in half again to give me more of a point, sort of, with ribbon. Now I put this through, okay? And I'm gonna cut off the tail. Thanks, Mary Yates. I'm glad you thought I used good colors. And then I'm gonna push this through like this. Y'all see what I'm doing? And I did it backwards. I had two shots and I did it backwards. I mean, it's not backwards. I mean, let me just show you the difference. See if I can show you the difference. Okay, so can you see how, there we go. See how that knot is on the back? They need to make a glue dauber like the ink daubers that you use for bingo. Yes, they do. All right, so see how the knot is here versus on the back. Is it right or wrong? I don't know. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. Let me get some dimensionals. Pop this sucker up. We love our little personality dimensionals that give us more oomph to our cards. Okay. Holy guacamole. It's your birthday. Last thing we need to do is add that Whoops, I don't know what that is. No telling. Add our basic white layer in the back on the inside. And we're done. So we have those two cards. Look at the mess. Oh, lousy mercy. Okay, so look how fun these cards are. Super bright, super cheery. I think I need one for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's already passed. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed these cards tonight. Um, I, I hope that I've inspired you. If you already have the Taco Fiesta stamp set, I hope I've given you some cute ideas, uh, food for thought, like guacamole. Um, and if you don't have it, I hope I've inspired you to get it. Sue, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Y'all have a good weekend. I'll be back on Monday with my mystery stamping on Monday at 7 p.m. Central. So thank you guys for joining me tonight. I appreciate you. Bye.